Hi, welcome to another Mechanics 3 video. This time we're looking at circular motion. Uh, this is part one where we'll look at only horizontal circular motion. So, key equations you need to know. The angular speed, omega, is the rate of change of the angle with respect to time. The linear speed, v, is the radius of a circle multiplied by omega and the acceleration which is always towards the center of the circle is minus omega squared r. Okay. Now, um, just sort of basics, changing between radians and degrees, there are two pi radians in a circle, so two pi radians is 360 degrees. Uh, changing between radians per second and revs per minute, um, pretty simple, 7 radians per second for example would be 7 lots of 1 over 2 pi revolutions because of this, 2 pi radians is 360 degrees or 1 revolution and uh, so revs per minute would be 60 times how many revs per second ok, um, right, horizontal circular motion if we have a situation one, smooth horizontal table, you have R acting up, the normal reaction, weight acting down, they would be equal, um, obviously as the particle is not moving upwards or downwards from the table. Um, use F equals MA towards centre, now that is pretty key, that's something that you, you pretty much always do. Okay. Um, Right, so T, the force, is equal to MA. Now what we're doing here is using a more commonly used version of A, which is V squared over R. You get that by simply rearranging these two, eliminating omega, and A can also be rewritten as V squared over R. Okay, now this situation you would use if you have an inelastic string, but if you have an elastic string, you need to also incorporate T equals lambda X over L into this. And obviously, as always, you'd find out what you need from the question. Okay, another example, particle on a rotating disk. The only thing keeping the particle on the disk in this situation is friction. And obviously, that friction will be acting towards the centre as a centripetal force. Um, F equals MA again towards the centre. Assume in limiting equilibrium, so friction is equal to mu r equals ma, and you can now also resolve vertically and use that r equals mg because the particle is not moving upwards or downwards off the disk. So, again, depending on what you're told from the uh, question, will determine what rearrangement you need to do to find the unknown. Okay more horizontal circular motion. This is called a conical pendulum because it rotates horizontally. It would kind of makes a cone with the, uh, the strings here and has the pendulum effect of going back and forth if you look at it from the side. Right, again, resolve vertically because the particle is not moving anywhere vertically. It's only going round in a horizontal circle. So you resolve vertically. Use F equals MA towards the centre. If it's elastic, you can now replace T with the lambda X over L. If it's not, you would just utilise these equations. Uh, obviously, you can use different versions of A, again, depending on what the question tells you. OK, final horizontal situation is where you have a particle, uh, an object or particle or whatever, on a banked surface. Now, need to determine friction. Most questions it will be acting down the slope because the object will be trying to move up the slope out to break the circle. Um, but if you're looking at a minimum speed, then the object will be just about to slip down the slope so in that case with minimum speed then the friction will act up the slope to oppose the uh, motion. Okay again resolving you need to be careful here to make sure you can resolve vertically not parallel perpendicular to the plane because there's components of acceleration towards the centre then. Okay 
Vertically though, there's no component of acceleration. Vertically, the forces are equal. So the component of friction and reaction against weight here are all equal. Then use F equals MA towards the centre as always. So you've got this equation as well. And use friction equals mu arc. She'll be in limiting equilibrium. And between those three equations, rearrange and get whatever you need. Right, nice example here uh, of horizontal circular motion on a banked surface. Okay, a van travelling around the bend banked at 12 degrees. Um, mu is 0.2. And the radius of the circle of motion that the van is making there is 400 metres. So maximum speed of the van. So as it's looking towards the maximum, friction will act down because it's going faster and faster. The faster it goes, the more it's trying to leave the circle in that direction. So friction will act down the surface to oppose the motion. We resolve vertically to get equation 1. We use F equals MA towards centre to get equation Two and F equals mu R. So substitute F R is 0.2 R into here and into here. Do some fancy rearranging, and you should get V equals 41.09 meters per second. Okay, thank you.